were you a road agent in 1999? I think you believe, believe you were. Um, how shocked were you when you found out Billy Gunn was going to win the King of the Ring? Uh, I, w- I wasn't shocked. You take somebody, you know, who's who, they've been champions before, they've had spots before, but now let's see how they get over in this pay per view. Let's see what happens. Let's see if they, if something happens uh once they win and they get that that jolt of confidence and now do they take it to the next level or is it still going to be this so you know that i wasn't shocked billy was one of those those guys he had the size he had the look why not go for it why not try and uh make him a big star why do you think it didn't work? Like he won the King of the Ring, he started feuding with the Rock. How, why do you think it it kind of failed? And why do you think it didn't work? I I I don't know that Billy ever got comfortable at that time cutting promos or understanding he was doing great work in the ring, but he definitely had this vibe and this attitude. When he walked around, he had a chip on his shoulder. And if he didn't like you or didn't want to talk to you, sometimes even if he did like you or and wanted to talk to you, you weren't sure what kind of mood he was in. It was a uh, a very uh, aggressive tone in every step he took. And he forgot about the entertainment part of it or the uh, the part that Road Dog had. You know, Road Dog will tell you he's all about showbiz. Right. Billy had the technical part now, but Road Dog had the the sizzle while Billy was a steak, I guess. But what was wrong with the smoking guns? They never seemed to take off. Well, there was nobody really for them to take off with. We worked with them as the Heavenly Bodies and worked with them as uh, the Body Donnas. And the tag team competition was what it was back then. Nobody was really going to take off. 